that proves that Ben Stiller is not a fan of full reviews. Did you see the way he was trying to pull off my label there? Oh, hello, my name is uh, Fu Manchu. Well, Superman versus Batman. What? Sorry, Batman versus Superman just opened. Are you happy? I just opened it at movie theaters like a week ago, and, you know, I could give you a review on that, but instead I think I'll talk about one of my favorite superhero movies of all time that I don't think people talk about that much, and I am talking about the following. Now, the film Mystery Men came out in 1999, and look at that cast of actors. That is awesome. Now, this movie, you know, I don't know a lot of people that even mention this as being a good superhero movie, but I think it is, and I think it is amazing. It's, it's one of those movies that's very, you know, uh, in on the joke, I should say, and this thing is great. I loved it. Now, also in 1999, there happened to be a line of action figures based on some of the characters, and I say some of the characters, they didn't make everybody, but uh, they made a few of them from the movie, and so I zipped into my time machine, went back to 1999, and now we will do a retro food review. So, today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the Playing Mantis, and I love that little picture there that is so cute. Look at it. And there's a little fat cat over there, too. That is so cute. I love that picture. Mystery Men action figure of Mr. Furious. Check that out. Played by Ben Stiller himself. And I am a huge fan of the Ben Stiller show. Back when that used to be on. That show is super funny and I love it. And seriously, there's so many good skits. I still quote it to this day. So, Ben, I loved your TV show, man. And you've been in a million shows I've liked since then, and this is an awesome figure of you. And yeah, it looks cartoony, and it doesn't look like Ben Stiller at all. I mean, seriously, it's kind of silly looking. But you know what? It's the only figure that exists, you know, of this character, and of Ben Stiller that I know of. So that's pretty cool, too. So check that out. And these figures are pretty big, man. I mean, this packaging and everything is really big. And if you compare it here to me, check this out. Look, that's a pretty big figure, man. Pretty big. Oh, you can see it in my nose. Hello. Anyways, yeah, I really like this a lot. Now, looking at the back of the package, you'll see a really cool, you know, art, like on the front of the Blu-ray. And also, I think it was one of the posters. I'm not 100%. But uh, over here, you'll see, these are the only figures that they made. Captain Amazing, the Blue Raja, the Bowler, the Shoveler, Mr. Furious, and the Spleen. Now, they didn't make Invisible Boy. They didn't make, who else? Uh, they didn't make the Sphinx. Um, who else? They didn't make any of the bad guys. That sucks. I mean, seriously, who are they going to fight? But down here, there's a little blurb about the movie. Very cool indeed. It talks about, you know, you can read about them in Dark Horse Comics. That's pretty cool. You have to get the Flaming flaming uh, Carrot Comics, I guess. But uh, very, very cool indeed. And then down here, there's that little logo again. Dark Horse Comics, the fat cat. That's very cute. But yeah, the back of the package is pretty plain, and it just shows off the names and little bios of the characters. So let's look at the front of the package, shall we? Ah, oh, he's furious! But yeah, this is a figure that I'd wanted for a long time, and I actually forgot about it for, I don't know how long. And then when I watched the movie, it dawned on me that there were some toys, and I was like, hey, I gotta have that. So I zipped back to Toys R Us in 1999, picked it up, and now we're going to open it. So I say, we open it! So here's Roy, a.k.a. Mr. Furious, fresh out of the package, and check him out. This is him stood just straight up out of the package, and that is awesome. That jacket is very cool, made out of, like, faux leather. It's painted on the outside, very neat indeed. Actually, it looks like a prop from the movie, very cool. And, yeah, these figures have very limited articulation. They don't do a whole lot, but you can turn his head, lift his arms, spin his wrists, spin his legs at the uh, thigh joint there, and bend his knee. Now that's not too bad considering. Now, although the figure does look very cartoony, look at the details. He's actually got another leather jacket on underneath there. The collar's up, so that's pretty cool. He's got those really cool wrist things there. And I still don't know how his sleeves are tucked in there. That's kind of strange. I'm going to have to figure that out. He's got some leather pants. The painted jacket is awesome. And then his boots have a lot of uh, details on them too. So that is very cool indeed. Let's flip him around, shall we? So, here he is from behind, and look at all those paint details on the back of his jacket. That is so cool, man, and he is furious. He's burning with furiousness. But you know what? That is pretty awesome, and I think that is very cool. So I say we turn him around and look at him up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super-duper close-up look, and the zipper is totally washed out in the light. 
But yeah, look at there. It's actually got teeth and everything, and that's pretty cool. And uh, there you can see his battered leather jacket on underneath. Now, you can't see his belt buckle. In the movie, he had a Chevrolet symbol for a belt buckle, which I wish you could see, but that's okay. Working our way up to his face, you can see a look at that stubble. Oh, man, mine's got a little imperfection there on his front tooth. Maybe he just had a salad. Who knows? A little scratch on his nose, too. And then look at his eyes, looking very cool, wearing eyeliner even. And he's got his mean eyebrows, and that is awesome. He's got the cool Ben Stiller spiky hair. Very cool indeed. And yeah, like I said, cartoon is sculpt. But you know what? This is awesome. I think it would be really cool if Hot Toys made these guys in, uh, you know, 1-6 scale. That would be so cool. Imagine what they'd look like. All their costumes and everything. There's his fist there, if you can see that. It's kind of washed out. Looking at his jacket, you can see the flames, how they're painted on there. Very cool indeed. Working our way over here, his other fist. Now, his gauntlets are very, very cool. Look at the little straps there. Now, I don't think his jacket will come off because, as you can see, it's tucked underneath the gauntlet, and the gauntlet doesn't come off that I know of. So, I don't know. Maybe if you broke it, you could get it off or rip the jacket. But, yeah, the jacket does not come off. Now, let's look at his gauntlets. Now, working our way down his left sleeve, you will see his left gauntlet here. And check this out. It's got all the little car emblems and stuff like that. And it is so cool that they did that. Ah, that is so neat. I love it. Uh, I know during the movie when I watched it, I remember going, what are those things? But yep, little car emblems. Very cool indeed. Now, working our way down his right sleeve, you'll see it's no different over here. And he's got little different ones. And that is awesome. Very cool indeed. Boba Fett would be very proud of these gauntlets, I think. But yep, there's his gloves looking very cool. Now, like I said, the jacket part, the pleather part, is not removable. And you can see he's got no details down his sleeves there. Uh, but yeah, he's got some uh, weathering to his jacket up there. You can see that the collar's turned up. That's a really cool little detail. Working our way down to his pants, you'll see he's got a zipper down there. And then he's got leather pants on. There's some padded knees. And then down here at his shoes, if we can, let's pick them up here. Check this out. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. You can see some zippers and, you know, folds and stuff to his pants. And he's got a buckle there on his boots. Very awesome indeed. Now, do I wish that this figure had more articulation and maybe a better sculpt on the face? Yeah, I do. But you know what? I'm happy with what I see. And like I said, this figure's pretty big. Let me see if I can compare him to something. Now, here's how big he is compared to the April O'Neil from the very first Ninja Turtles movie. And there's that little uh, bebop there that I got from the uh, Mega Bloks set from the Out of the Shadows. And you can see he's a very, very big figure. I think that is awesome. Now, I don't have the whole set of these, but here he is next to the Shoveler, and I think that looks amazing. The whole team together would look so cool, but unfortunately, they didn't make the whole team. But here's William H. Macy as the Shoveler standing next to him, and that is cool. So, there's my retro foo review from 1999 of the Playing Mantis Mystery Men, Mr. Furious figure. And you know what? I think this is awesome. Is it for everybody? No. But then again, the movie wasn't for everybody, apparently, because not very many people liked it. If you liked it, let me know, because I like it a lot. I think it's a good movie. You know? So, yeah. You don't always have to like things because they're popular. You can like them because they're cool. And I think this is cool. So, until next time, tune in for more! Foo! Reviews! <laughs> come on, fellas, but come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look, I understand that you think that Clark Kent is Superman, but he can't be Superman because Clark Kent wears glasses, right? If Superman was Clark Kent and Clark Kent took off his glasses, how would he be able to say?